The planet is threatened by environmental crime. Before 2018, we were facing thousands of human-caused fires, thousands of animals poisoned, the massive generation and export of waste, millions of animals illegally killed or caught, the illegal trafficking of products damaging the environment and contributing to biodiversity loss. However, most of these crimes were neither investigated nor prosecuted. Faced with this reality, numerous EU and international bodies recognize the impact these actions generate and the obligation they have to act against them. In July 2018, SEO BirdLife acted and presented Nature Guardians, a project coordinated by this NGO with the Nature Protection Service of the Spanish Police Corps Guardia Civil, the Autonomous Government of Andalusia and the Portuguese Ornithological Society SPEA as beneficiary partners and financed by the Life Programme of the European Union, MITECO and the Government of the Canary Islands. Nature Guardians has contributed to the defence of the environment by increasing the effectiveness and efficiency of actions aimed at combating environmental crimes, especially those committed against habitats and wildlife in Spain, Portugal and the rest of the EU. It has been instrumental for Spain and Portugal to comply with the European Biodiversity Strategy for 2020, the European Environmental Compliance Assurance Action Plan, the National and European Plans Against Wildlife Trafficking, the European Agenda on Security, the EU Criminal Justice Programme, the implementation of national and EU environmental regulations, a project that in four years has contributed to very important achievements in the fight against environmental crime. The increased participation in legal proceedings, a higher number of citizen complaints and the better detection of crimes have led to greater prosecution levels and less impunity for this type of crime. The creation and use of intelligence and the use of specialized equipment by the Guardia Civil have contributed to this. Since 2018, there have been fewer deaths due to environmental offenses, the main objective at which all the actions of this project are aimed. 25 training courses and technical materials have been developed to improve the understanding and investigation of crime, and an environmental intelligence office has been set up to deal with these types of environmental attacks. In Spain, 21.3% of the population consider that authorities give sufficient importance to environmental problems, an increase of 4.6% compared to 2018. 70.8% of the Spanish population consider environmental crimes to be as important as other crimes, an increase of 6.4% compared to 2018. All these achievements have been made possible thanks to an efficient methodology and an initial approach with clear objectives. More training and better coordination efforts. Effective police investigations using innovative resources. Better law enforcement and reduced impunity. Awareness in society and prevention improving the conservation of species and habitats, greater awareness about environmental crimes and offences. To achieve these objectives, actions have been taken to ensure the application of the legal framework governing our relationship with the environment. SEO, BirdLife and SPEA have developed methodologies for the collection of data on non-natural wildlife mortality and to calculate in a harmonised and fair way the economic value of each species affected. In addition, they have collaborated with MITECO in the creation of the Information System on Accidental Captures or Deaths SICMA, which will collect information on numerous wildlife crimes and offences. An international working group bringing together the environmental police agencies from 27 countries to share knowledge and agree on joint solutions, together with the EU Police Network, Envy Crime Net and Europol. SEO, BirdLife and SPEA have taken civil action in 31 legal proceedings dealing with offences such as illegal hunting, corrupt administrative practices, electrocution of bird life and destruction of habitats, and have been handed down convictions in favour of the environment. A complaints web portal has been created, where around 1,200 citizen inquiries have been managed. Soprona has created the OCN to analyse information and to improve the coordination and communication of actions at national level concerning the conservation and protection of nature and the environment. Nine specific operations have been carried out against environmental crimes in connection with the use of poison baits, trafficking in species and waste, illegal water extraction, electrocution of bird life and the release of invasive species. Using in this task five drones, several radio beacons, video recording equipment 
computer equipment and a mobile laboratory unit for fire investigation. The first Global Police Investigation Manual to investigate biodiversity crimes has been created by the Autonomous Government of Andalusia, SEO BirdLife together with Europol, and various studies such as Society's Perception of Environmental Crime Analysis of the Origins and Motivations of Environmental Crime in the Iberian Peninsula A Guide to Practical Lessons Learned on Legal Action in Criminal Proceedings for Environmental Crimes and legal reports to seek improvements in the regulatory framework. Article 45 of the Spanish Constitution has been highlighted with the collaboration of the National Museum of Natural Sciences and the Spanish Navy. In addition, with a psychosocial perspective and in the main black spots where wildlife crimes are committed, eight murals against environmental crimes have been developed in which more than 625 students and teachers have participated. Nature Guardians a before and after in the fight against environmental crime. An initiative that highlights the important role played by non-governmental organizations when they work together with public administrations, environmental police and civil society for the common good of defending the environment and the compliance of the EU regulations that protect it. A clear contribution so that all people can enjoy a healthy environment, as stated in Spanish and Portuguese constitutions and as recognized by the United Nations.